Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. We're gonna start out today um, with some viewer questions and um, then we have like a little announcement, kinda. Nothing big, but it's a little- Well, it's part of the questions. It is. <laughs> uh, so I get, yeah, anyway. We'll get to it. <laughs> Stand by. Yes. Okay, so first question is Mrs. Gwasp. Question, when you sell something that you previously cleaned up corrosion and it now works, do you list it as used and note the flaws or as port parts or repair noting and now works? I would assume listing it as used would bring more money. Have you ever had an INAD because of something like this? Love your channel and you both are so entertaining. Thanks for all the awesome videos. <laughs> you waiting for me to answer? Yeah, because you, you do most of the electronics. I barely do this. Okay. If there's corrosion, I usually hand it to him. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. Um, yeah, so corrosion, it depends. Like, um, some corrosion is super light. And if I feel like I cleaned it and it's good and it wasn't heavy and, it, it, and now that I've cleaned it, it looks fine and I can see no trace of it, mm -hmm. I look at it as I would wiping something off and... Right. Like, I wouldn't mention the dirt that I wiped off. Um, if the corrosion is heavier um, and I clean it and now it works, but then I can still see some damage to the contacts or something like that, then I have in the past said there was corrosion in the co battery compartment. I cleaned it out. It works fine. Please see photos, whatever. Like, I, I think anytime you're you're wondering um, should I disclose this or not nine times out of ten you should yeah unless it's something that you've done that uh, doesn't change anything doesn't change the value or anything mm -hmm. like we like like maybe if there's a um, something I would disclose here's an example uh, like let's say let me find something I'll be right back so we'll take this nutcracker for example. Like this, his um, this 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 hand is glued in. Mm -hmm. This hand is meant to come out, come for, out packing. for packing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So this is a poor example. However, let's say that this hand uh, fell off, and I could see where there was glue from the factory, mm -hmm. like dried up, and at some point it was glued on in here and then we took a drop of glue and stuck it back in there would you disclose that i would not i would not that. either no because it doesn't it doesn't affect the value the function right. anything right you know now however if the hand cracked in half if i dropped it and the hand got cracked in half and we glued the hand back together right and even even if it looked really good i would disclose that yeah yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, because that's something that affects the integrity of the right. product. Yeah. Yeah, and potentially the value and stuff yeah. too. So, good question. In, in in most cases, I would say disclose though. Yeah. Next question is Delene Fleckler five five nine two. I know I butchered. You're trying. That. You're trying. <laughs> I love watching you guys, but sometimes your language gets in the way. I don't know. So I already asked them. I replied to it, and I did ask uh, what Deline 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 Fechtler. I already asked them like what the language they're talking about because I'm I'm truly like truly don't under don't know what it would be. No. Uh, at first, I thought maybe it was like English language, but then I was like, oh maybe we say offensive things yeah i'm not sure i don't feel like we do i hope not um i don't i feel like i don't feel like we're out of line with our language I, I, yeah if, if any of you think we are or, I, mean, I don't know what, what what's the what, what's we'll, going on <laughs> we'll take a straw poll here are, are we like do we do we sometimes get a little loose with the language and it's like something you can't listen to in mixed company I, I, maybe and I'm just going out on a limb and guessing maybe because um, our structure in here is very just fly by the seat of our pants and not scripted and like... I don't know. You know I, don't I don't know what the... I don't know. I don't feel like we're crude 
or anything? I mean, we will make a joke every now and then. We're not or... when the camera's rolling. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Yeah. Can y'all help us out? Are we like? And maybe we're just not self-aware. Right. And we maybe... may be doing something offensive that we don't even realize it is. Right. Yeah. So, so if 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 uh, Deline Feckler can answer, that would be nice. Or if some of y'all, some of the other people here, we're down here in South Louisiana. Maybe we're um, we're a little gruffer. Maybe we're really crude and don't even know it yeah. because we're in the middle of it. I don't know. Next question: Ben boot sale picking. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi guys, got a question. What percentage of stuff you buy is off knowledge or do you comp everything before you buy? We do not comp everything before we buy. Um, we don't comp most things before we buy. I would say maybe 10%. That's, that sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds about right. There's a certain amount of things like, like I don't know, I'm making up percentages because we don't track this thing. But I would say like... 60% of the stuff we pick up, we've bought and sold before. Yeah. And we, we just know just from experience yeah. that, that that thing is worth something. And then there's probably another 30% that maybe we haven't bought and sold before, but we've bought and sold like things before. And we just know that, okay, this is probably a good pickup. It's cheap. Yeah. Let's get it and keep it moving. Most of the time when we are copying something, it's because the price may not be what we want to pay. And we need to kind of make sure that we can, it can justify paying that. Or sometimes just those rare things that catch your eye that we have not experienced, you know. Right. Like, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't think of too many examples off the top of my head. But like sometimes if something, like usually if something's like super cheap, our our hit rate on just like just buying those and it working out is high enough to where the time spent um trying to comp it does not make sense because uh that's time we could have been that could have been used getting moving on to the next sale uh, i see you have a boot sale in your um in your username I've seen those boot sale videos before. It's similar situation. Mm -hmm. uh, one guy uh, is is you know you you could walk up to a, a one car boot and, and there's for those of you who don't know boot sale is a garage sale over in the UK. Well, kinda. It's like they do it in the back of the car. It's like a, a field market. sale it's sort like a of. Market, they all back up to the this field and then they yeah. pop their boots. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know like there's a there's a there's a balance there you don't want to be the guy or the girl that uh comps every single thing and while you're comping everything your your competition is passing behind by you and getting all the good stuff in front of you but yeah. you also don't want to be the the guy or girl at the boot sale that um doesn't comp anything and makes a lot of buying mistakes and ends up costing you a significant amount of money Somewhere in between those two scenarios is where you should be. So two points about it. The, um, the longer you do this, the less you're going to comp because you're going to gain that experience. You're going to know what, what you bought and sold before when you see it. Um, the other thing I will say is most of our comping, I feel, is done at estate sales. Yeah. Um, when we go on Sundays because, like I brought up the prices earlier, those prices are, are higher and there's less profit margin when we do buy stuff usually. So it's easier to make bigger mistakes. I would say probably at estate sales, we're comping 50% or more yeah. of the things we're buying. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Next question is from Dixie's Bargains. Could you pack at the end of the video so those who don't want to watch that part? <laughs> okay. Dixie doesn't like to watch packing. Well, I mean, it, I understand that. And a lot of people probably don't. No, a lot of people, a lot of people really like the packing videos and a lot of people don't. And the way we did the last one uh, probably was excruciating for some people because some people like to watch us pull orders and some people like to watch us pack. Yep. And those two Venn diagrams are not one circle. We get requests for both. We get requests for either or. So we think we've come up with a solution. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is what we're trying out. We're gonna continue with our daily vlog Monday through Friday, 
And Lonnie is going to record himself packing every single day. And on the weekends, we will release packing videos, packing only. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be Lonnie packing. So if you don't like watching packing videos, don't watch our videos on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do like them, watch the videos on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't like them, just try one every now and then just to make sure you still don't like it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, look, I've got the first... I think I've, do I still have it pulled up here? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have iMovie open right now. All right. But yeah, I... It, it the first video I've already recorded. It'll go up the weekend after this. It, video. I was gonna try and put it up um, tomorrow, which would be I, I I can't say this because anyway, it, no, it's no, gonna no. be time shifted. What he's trying to tell you is the the first packing video will go up the weekend following this video that you're watching now. Yeah, so. yeah. The next yeah the weekend after this video the next the next saturday or sunday uh there will be a packing video and they're going to be long and it's going to be every single package that goes out of this shed that's the plan anyways yeah. so uh hopefully we're going to please everyone with that those of you that love them and hate them uh you know where they're going to be yeah next question is from mcb cab so who do y'all credit for teaching you how to pack things I do not think y'all learned at the casino. I'm a subscriber for about three months. Um, that's a Lonnie question because yeah. I'm not back. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I credit, I credit uh, mostly myself. I picked up a few things on YouTube maybe over the years, but I, I mostly credit. I probably I, just a rough guess between like eBay sales, the other platforms. I've sold, uh, we, we've sold uh, box resizer. We sold over 4,000 of these when we were selling them. Uh, we sold coffee mugs. Uh, we sold, a, but, but between all the things we've sold, um, it's been a, over, it's over 40,000 packages. Did you know that? I would that would that would be my best guess. Yeah. It's over forty thousand. Yeah. So um, when I first started doing this, like seriously, I was horrible at it. Had a lot of broken stuff, um, and had a lot of you know I, I would have a lot of damaged product early on, compared compared to now, relatively speaking to now. So experience is the answer. Yeah. Two, that's who I credit is just time and experience and a whole lot of packing. I mean, I have packed a lot of packages mm -hmm. for one person. Right. Like, I'm not saying I've packed the most, no. but, and I don't, I usually don't like to like, I don't like to claim that I'm an expert at this or that because I'm not. And, and sometimes I don't give myself enough credit, but when it comes to shipping and packing, at this point, I've packed so many things. I, 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 I'm kind of an expert about it. Well, you know, I kind of think um, the proof is in the pudding. Right. Yep. Uh, how often do we have something get damaged? And very rarely. Very, very rare. It, like with all those big nutcrackers and the breakable dishes and stuff. Nothing. I mean, no. it, we've had I think one thing in the last six months, maybe. Yeah, and we right, and we yeah. ship a lot of fragile stuff. Yeah. So I I, I mean I, I credit I credit experience, hard knocks, mistakes, yeah. um, re reevaluating what I'm doing. I also credit viewers to some extent when I've made packing videos in the past. I do get tips from viewers a lot of times. Yep. Um, that plays into it, but mostly it's experience and doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I used to be really bad. Now I feel like I'm pretty good. Yeah. Next question is from Ryan Clark with a four instead of an A. <laughs> Ryan, I can't Clark. even say that. Ryan okay. Clifork. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's the language. <laughs> oh, your language. That's what they're talking about. Whenever you talk about the bench. I'm gonna... No, I'm saying... That... I'm saying B E N C H. It just sounds like something else. That's what it is. 
I, I can't help the way I talk. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have a weird Old accent. foul mouth like lady. <laughs> All right. I'm not saying what you think I'm saying. Oh my gosh. The son of a bench. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. Back to Ryan Clefork. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> Curious to know your thoughts on the changes Macari announced today. No more seller fees, but $2 fee every time you transfer money to your bank account. Really encourages people to keep their money on their account as long as possible. This could be a really great change for them and can see myself definitely focusing more on listing there. Mm, so they have a positive They vibe. like it. And we, we, we think we like it too. We so want to like it. Yeah. We and we actually pulled up... Um, Two examples to see why we don't mind paying this two dollar fee. Okay. So let's see. This is something that we sold. I'm gonna hide that other one. Okay. This is something we sold for forty nine ninety nine before the fee switched. That was the day before. The day before the fee switched over. Sold for forty nine ninety nine. We paid a four dollar ninety nine cent selling fee, a two dollar seven cent processing fee. So we made forty two dollars and ninety three cents. The day that the changes happened, we sold something for forty nine ninety nine. Same exact price. Actually, it's uh, next day. Yeah. Three twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what did we make? Forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> I like that. I like that part. So yeah, I will definitely give up. What is this? Over seven dollars to pay a two dollar deposit fee. Right, and we're not going to obviously we're not going to withdraw it right away. We'll wait until that's. Yeah, know. yeah, we're not going to do it every single time. We no. we're thinking maybe either every other week or once a month or whatever. Right, something. Yeah. Um, we did want to kind of show y'all what the buyer fees are looking like on this sale. Okay, so um, this looking at this line, these line items. Yeah, we get forty nine ninety nine. Um, delivery. That's what they paid for shipping. All right, tax. Well, they get pay tax. Um, but this is what Macari told us. Listings created after March 27th. Okay. Um, this is the payment processing. Payment fee. processing fee. 2.9% plus 50 cents. So they take all these monies, including the tax, shipping. multiply it by, and the shipping and everything, mm -hmm. multiply it by 2.9%. And then they also add on 50 more cents. That comes up, in this case, to $2.40. And we we looked pretty closely and didn't see anything mentioned here or here or here or anywhere else about service fee. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that was two forty nine dollars in this case. Right. And they did not, like, when they rolled out this whole thing, they did not mention a service fee at all in any of the promotional material. They just mentioned the payment processing fee. Right. However, here's the service fee. And all we can see about it, and maybe we're missing something. All we can see when you hover over it, service fee may vary. It helps us improve Macari's features in your experience. So... Yeah, I looked through like their terms and conditions and everything, and I could not find a set number or how they come to that number. No. So I don't know what they're using to configure that. Um, I think it needs to be more clear, honestly. Yeah. I mean, the, the, it's like another f a fee on a. F they explain. They go to great lengths to explain the processing mm -hmm. fee, but yeah. they go to zero lengths to explain service fee. Right. But ultimately, it ends up even the fee with the fees. That ends up being what? That ends up being about 10% of the whole transaction. Yeah. Right? And if you don't include the other stuff down below, it ends up being approximately 10% of the purchase price. Yeah. How do we feel about it? Uh, on my side, I still like it. But I think as a seller, I, I would be very upset because I want to know what, what is the service fee I'm paying? As a buyer? Yeah, as a buyer. I want to know what the service fee is I'm paying. And... If I go to buy something for forty nine ninety nine tomorrow, is that going to go up? How do I know what it's going to be? You know, yeah. I think it needs to be more clear and and precise and outlining what it's going to what it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I I'm I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. I hope Macari does well with this. I hope they they did their research and thought this through all the way. But this item that started out at forty nine ninety nine, uh, let me add it up real quick. 
All right, so keep so keep in mind the this is a light package. It was uh, I think fifteen ounces. It went at two pounds, yeah. No, it went, no one. It oh no, no, pounds. yeah, this one was fifteen ounces. Yeah, it was fifteen ounce yeah. rate. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why the delivery was six nine, or might have even been twelve. I don't even know, mm -hmm. honestly. Candace did the listing, but. $50, very light package. It was a 644 box. You could see it on the the uh, shipping video coming this, this coming up this weekend. It's part of that. But uh, $50, what was the actual all-in price for this $50 real lightweight item that the customer paid? $67.97. That's a lot. Yeah, that, that's... That's a lot. I, I don't. I think they need to rethink what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I I have no idea. Yeah. That seems extreme. That is crazy. <laughs> and that tells me that yeah, we're not paying fees, but in the long run, we're gonna lower our prices to like we were paying fees. But to make to be able to sell things. This particular okay, that's what you know. That's us trying to look into a crystal ball and predict and things. This particular sale though. We made a lot more money by selling on Macari than we did on eBay. We did. Because we, we had it priced the same on both platforms. We did, yeah. But now are we going to... How many customers are going to balk right. at... I would. I wouldn't pay that. <laughs> how many customers are going to balk whenever they see $50 item they got to pay $68 for? I know. On a lightweight item. It's not something that weighs 10 pounds. Right. Yeah. What would that look like? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Time to pull our orders for the day you ready yes we sold on ebay and mercari again so um we're gonna start with ebay we had two tubs ducks left and they both sold to someone first one is on seven charlie dalsam seven charlie this thing was dalsam Cosplaying ducks. Yes. I have no idea what that is. I I really uh, do. You know what that is? I mean, Dawson. It's their Street Fighter character. Oh, Street Fighter. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I thought you meant. You meant no, like I, didn't know, duck thing. I didn't know. I didn't know. I I was so totally. Ducks just the last couple of years have really like gotten popular. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber duckies. Yeah. And I, let me tell y'all how I think it started. So when you go on cruises now, people hide ducks all over the ship for other people to find. And they put they put a little tag with their information. It started with one little girl, and I don't know when or what her name was or whatever, but she did this, and then boom, it just took off from there. So now, like, all of a sudden, rubber ducks have been popular the last you, few years. Are, so you think it started it on a cruise ship? Yeah, and, and Jeeps. Or is this chicken or egg? Chicken yeah. and egg. Also, or duck and um, egg. people put them in people's Jeeps too. Like other Jeep owners leave them in people's Jeeps. Have you heard about that? No. Yeah. So between the two, like ducks are just everywhere now. Okay. <laughs> ducks are ducks are in this year. So when we walked in that Mardi Gras parade, our Girl Scout troop, I ordered this big old bag of little, like two inch size rubber duckies in cosplay, dressed like different things to throw in the parade. So that was fun. <laughs> Okay. Ducks are in rubber ducky. You're the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you make that time so much fun. <laughs> okay. The other one is five Bravo left. Okay. His name is Ken. Look at this aisle. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to act. Can I just act like it doesn't exist? Can we just throw like a curtain over this aisle? We just need another shelf right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so those together sell for $19.98. Okay. Six Charlie, a uh, box set of Anne Rice Vampire Chronicles. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I like it. $27 for those. Okay. I don't remember what we paid for it. A couple of $3? I think so. Something like that? Yeah. I can't remember. Um, guy drawer. Halloween cat collar. Guy's mm. behind you. Hey, guy. <laughs> <laughs> you love saying that, huh? Uh -huh. Guys behind you. Uh, cat collar. Yeah. It's the little pumpkin one. Yes. They bought one. They're, okay. They're the same size. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. cat size. <laughs> huh? Cat size. <laughs> yeah. Dogs have like 10 different sizes. Cat is like cat size. Cat or <laughs> cat kitten. Cat or kitten. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, $8.99 for that. Okay. 
Uh, this is funny. I actually, um, I saw this listed on Macari the other day, and I'm like, I thought if we sold all of these, so I went and checked to make sure that it hadn't sold, and now it's sold. Uh, Judith Jack bracelet charm baby box pocket 102. You know what? I, you know what I think it is. We had we had two different charms from that same brand, and you must yeah, have been three. Yeah. three? Okay. Yeah. Well, you must have thought. I, honestly, I thought that I thought the same thing. I was like, "Oh, we still had that." Yeah, um, twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents. The charm bracelets, the gold and silver charm bracelet. Man, that was one of the best buys we ever made. This is a pricey little brand to buy them new, so um, that's why I even pre-owned it because it's pretty modern. Um, the other stuff was vintage, but these that brand is pretty modern. Yeah. Six Bravo Gospel Doctrine by Joseph Smith. It's a brown leather book. Okay, we are going to start specializing in um, Mormon uh, Bibles and books. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this stuff sells good, huh? So fast, huh? $19.99. Alrighty. Small little bench here so far. You know what you're looking for? Saturn hat. Yes. Yeah, because I took an offer on it. Yeah, $26. Is it, it this one? Because we yeah. had several. Okay. It is this one for yeah. sure. Look, it's new with tags and everything. It's kind of, it's really cool. It's a nice looking hat. It is. Got a little racing stripe there. $26. Oh, okay. I don't I didn't know if you said that or not. I did. I'll say it again. Okay. <laughs> I'll say it again. $26. I see. I say again. <laughs> okay. Six Bravo P01. What? <laughs> this is all you. Huh? Six Bravo P01. Grew. Oh. Whatever oh. that means to you, pull it. <laughs> it was a, um, it's a poster before us, and I was like doing them different at first before I realized they were too big. the, um, uh, how many we actually had. And when we sold this poster last night, it made me think, oh my God, we haven't sold many of these posters lately. Yeah. Like at all. I know. Uh, I'm not even sure which one of these. That, that's press photos. Maybe. I think I might have like... What but it's is, number one, so shouldn't it be in the front? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> you drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never... That's G.I. Joe I, blueprints. I know, it, I know it is. There's another binder up there. I'm, okay, hang on. Let me just make sure it's not in here. I, I really don't know what I I'm remember. Like, if what, I ever have to pull orders when you're not in here, I'm in trouble. I don't remember what I did. I don't know. Okay, what I don't think it's in here. <laughs> this is this is up here. Where what else could we possibly have? Let me see. Oh, it is here. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's all for twenty two dollars and forty nine cents. All right. Isn't our inventory system wonderful, y'all? <laughs> it worked. We got there. Mm-hmm. You're not, you're not in a big hurry. Wait, how big is this supposed to be? It is 11 by 16. Okay, is that 11 by 16? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Well, it's just a one fold kind of kind of deal there. Yeah. All right, let me put these all these binders up. I'll probably uh, bag and board that. It's like yeah. a comic book. Yeah. Um, two Bravo Konami uh, headset for Nintendo 64. Uh, Nintendo NES. What? Oh, we sold the... Uh, the Konami headset, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah. When did that happen? Yesterday. Oh, it happened last night. Yeah. When we were sleeping. Okay, I didn't uh, even... You weren't asleep yet. I didn't even... Yeah, I was. That was 120. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that specific. I went to bed kind of early last night. I went to bed at like midnight. Two Bravo. Two Bravo. I, I looked at my phone this... Like I always look. Like I wake up and I... I, I check my phone pretty much. Do you do that when you wake up or is that just me? Um, no, I do. I, I check, I think, emails first. I, I go straight to the eBay app first thing when I wake up. $39.99 for that. Okay, good. I think you didn't see it because you were excited about this next thing. Yeah, this is, the, this is the overnight sale I was really excited about. So, yeah, you're right. I did, okay, I'm even more excited. So, we did over $100 while we were sleeping. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That hasn't been happening every day lately. Um, 10 Alpha is where they are. I'll okay. come help you. It's the Weird and Wonderful Animals card sets. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Very, very excited about this one because uh, I said weird and wonderful. It's weird and wild. Weird and wild. Yeah, I was um, wondering where you got that. <laughs> wonderful. It was like they are wonderful. They are. Eighty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Wonderful. Yeah, we got these. They're like this. See, we got these for um, five dollars yes. for both at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Did you think they were going to sell for eighty-five whenever I listened? I had no idea because you comped them. I did. I I mean, I comped them, and I'm like, okay, I think that's what they're worth. But it's one of those things where you don't really believe it's worth that until it sells, and now I believe it. Yeah, we were there, and um, it was like a garage sale, mostly like little kid stuff. And this woman had her kids out there. So Lonnie's like, go ask her how much. Are these? But whenever it comes to like little kid stuff and toys and things like that, I feel like since we're fifty. I feel like it's stranger for me to approach the sell. Like, we're both there. I think about it like the time we went to that garage sale and bought all that American Girl doll stuff. What, right. What if it had been just you? Right. That would have been even. It was already awkward. And there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying there's that. There's not, but it was already awkward. It would have been even worse. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, like if since like since we we are a team, and like it makes sense to me for you to approach. A female seller yeah. about kids toys and stuff yeah. don't, don't you think that's just more comfortable yeah sometimes you make me go to the guys too there sometimes <laughs> depends it depends like you gotta like use your head you know? <laughs> okay so that's everything on ebay and then we have two things that sold on macari star wars action figure lot nine charlie lot oh not zero nine o. charlie lot O. you should never do O. Why? O should always be a zero. But it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Yeah, remember. but yeah, but O needs to always be zero Why? is the way I've learned it because then there's no question if it's a zero or an O. If it's a zero, you might be like, is that a zero or an O? That makes no sense. Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but where is it again? <laughs> Nine Charlie dash O or zero. Oh God! All right, Nine Charlie. What's well, not even in the right place, anyways? Huh? Yeah. After all that, it's on I, Nine Delta. I put all of them as Nine Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. So, all right. I know it's this one right here. Yeah. Oh, and the next one is back here too, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what is it? No, it's not. It's not? Okay. No. I thought it was another action figure. No, you're thinking of yesterday. So those sold for um $49.99 plus shipping. And the, uh, these all had, these all were kind of imperfect in some way. Is yeah, that? Yeah, or they just might have been worth only $7. So I just put together a little lot. And, I, and really, I, get, I think it's a good deal because I added up what I figured they would sell for individually. It was like $75 worth of stuff. So they got them for $50. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we actually got the fifty. Right. We got the <laughs> because it's on Macari with no fees. And then we sold a Kurt Adler wooden Humpty Dumpty ornament in the Boba Fett drawer. Okay. Don't go in there too often. No, this is not the lucky. This is not the lucky spot, really. Um. And if you missed my little history lesson, whenever I listed that, the original Humpty Dumpty was a cannon. <laughs> That fell off the wall and broke. What was it again? It was a cannon that fell off the wall and broke. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They had a cannon named Humpty Dumpty. Yes. But is it what, when, at what I point... I don't know how it turned into an egg. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had that listed for $10 and someone sent a seven fifty dollars offer and I took it. And you're like, I may never sell this in my lifetime. And I'm not paying fees on it. <laughs> no fees. $7.50 yeah. straight. That's true because like that's one of the things on eBay. Like if we have something like if we have something that's been listed for a little while and we we listed it for like fifteen dollars, say, and somebody sends a ten dollar offer on eBay, I almost never will take a ten dollar offer. Right, but if you know you're getting that ten dollars. But if I know that the the net proceeds are gonna be ten dollars, I would be more probably more likely to take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something that little, seven dollars and fifty cents. 
Yeah. We probably paid 50 cents for it. You know? I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't even know that existed here. <laughs> I'm, I, I guess, talked about it when we listed it. I know, but, it. but my memory sucks. So everything's new to me every day. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> it is. It's fun. It's like you wake up to a new wife. I'm like, oh, wow, it. this girl's pretty. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> All right. Let me get this stuff packed up, y'all. All right, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. Don't forget, if you're into this kind of thing, catch our new shipping series. We're going to start up this weekend. We'll see y'all there. Bye, y'all. Bye.